Hello and welcome back to Bug Snacks. Um, I don't know really what's happening in this episode, but we're just gonna do whatever we're supposed to. Also, I've gotten two subscribers over the last two days, and I'm actually really proud of that. So yeah. I don't know if you remember from last time, but this one, um, the loading screen shows everybody that you've met so far. So if you want to see all those people, go back to the first episode. Also, just some backstory. He's the husband, she's the wife. Now we're probably gonna get involved. You're yep. Oh, <coughs> come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. Is there any reason for me to stick around? Man, Triffy, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't going to give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Maybe even lend a helping paw. You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. That's what the cactus won't get jealous. What's that now? <laughs> Nothing. That was an uh, interesting hey, conversation. Buddy, I got something to show you. Follow me. <laughs> what is it? Hey, Rambo. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox! Lisbert was gone um, most of the time, okay. so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we just leave it in here. And since you've kind of taken over Liz's job, I'm sure we can do the same with you. Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> oh, and what's this? I think you might have a letter right now. Go ahead and check. Okay. Dear buddy, thanks for walking me back home, and also for saving me from the brink of starvation. I figure since you'll be staying in Snacksburg for a while, you might need some basics. Here's a care package with everything I could scrape together. I hope you find yourself at home soon. Best wishes, XOXO, Mayor Bilbo Fiddlepie. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> Oh, really sorry, uh, I just thought it'd be more fun if I read it out loud. But, um, I guess that defeats the point of leaving a letter. Uh, yeah. Where am I gonna Great keep this question, stuff? Great question, buddy. And that leads me to part two of Operation Gift Buddies. This way! I was thinking you could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut! I know it's kind of a fixer-upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? <laughs> Thanks, Phil. <laughs> anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're gonna finish it someday. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before you know it, this'll feel like home. Okay. Build mode. That be on. Good to be home, stranger. It's good to be home, stranger. Feels like fresh. It feels like a fresh start. If you're ever fixing to grow a farm yourself, here's something that I'll help, Wambus. Oh yeah. Hey, bestie. Thanks for convincing me to come back. I forgot how nice it is to have a bedroom. Oh. 
No, I have a real bed. Well, since I'm not camping out anymore, you can borrow my old sleeping bag if you want. Enjoy! Thank you again for helping me and my little ones to get a better home. I sent you a letter in case you get real scared in the dark. Charlie, Joey and Ashby send their love. Grumble. Ooh. Hi there. Thought you might need this map to help navigate the trigger trials of Snack Deep. You know, it feels weird being back in civilization, but I'm happy for it all the same. Feel free to stop by for a chat anytime. Trifty. Hey bestie, I know you could just, you just love to do me a favor, so could you help me get my bag back? Lost it in the trees near my cave. What's it? How did I lose it? What's in it? How did I lose it? Find it and maybe I'll tell you. I just, I saw a snack the other day that I just loved on site. I was hoping you could add it to my burn. Don't know what it's called, but it, Looks like a big heart flying through the sky. Okay, if I find it. According to my research, shy weenie worms just can't stand ketchup. I can't even see how much exactly. Would you please scan a shy weenie worm that, that's got ketchup on it? Okay, first I'm gonna go back over here and to build build load. That's cool. Sizzling sands. Boiling bay. Uh, first peak. Cedar pine woods. Flavor falls. Garden grove. Stetsburg. You go, you can have a spoolie. And you, oh, I can't. <coughs> I'm gonna go back here and do whatever Befika was asking me. But first I'm gonna look, you can still sleep in the bed. That's cool. Um, okay, let's go. I'm hoping this one does better than last time. I don't know if I'm too loud or not, but hopefully this is good. And this is where it shows you all the stuff that we've gotten. Probably the hardest one that we've gotten is a cheapoof, where it's like a Dorito kind of thing. It's like a Dorito version of a butterfly. Hmm. How do I get that? Bunger, bunger, bunger. <laughs> Give me this. Find the last item for Vefica. There we go. Did that. Okay, uh... Well, I think we found a new snack. Crispy snack pod. Hidden around the garden grove, once it's easy found, it's easy to pick up. Is all the stuff in this area gotten? Is that? Bum, bum, 
I found another one. Got it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and talk to Befika because that is what she needs me to do. Well, it said in the letter, so. Glad you're here. Uh, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Oh? It can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? Yeah. It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. No, 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 the stacks. Why is he waking up? I don't trust Wambus. He's gonna come in here. What? Wake Grumble. Where am I? Oh, thanks for waking me. Oh my god, thanks for finding my dice bag. I was playing games in the cave by myself when a fighter tried to climb it in the window. I panicked and threw my bag at it and missed. Lol. Guess I'm putting this down. This is now mine. I was supposed to go to sleep. <coughs> Sorry about the cough, I'm sick. But do not worry, I'm going to keep streaming no matter no matter what. So What's up? Later. Later. Goofy look at that. Nope. Sounds like a real hoot. Um. Who are you? Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. <coughs> but this island's chock full of finds. Uh, um, and your name? Oh goodness, my name! I'm Triffany Lottablog. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. 
Who's Grandma? You might have heard of Veronica, Lotta Blog. An adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Touch on big book stacks. Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of butt snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. Why did you leave town? It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Ramble's throat. Is that why you and Wambus? No, no, little? nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Lovely and you fell in this bird. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabel. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. You do got injured often? Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so. But the Ladablog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabel. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lizbert wound up. Thanks, Drifty. I'll wait. Oh, you're too her. kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries. Did you figure something out? You betcha! Lizbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. This is the Anywho, diary. I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Drifty has locked a journal. Has a locked journal. You'll need a key to open it. Where do I look at the clues? Looks like I need to weigh down the pressure plates in order. First left. Okay. Find the other grumpuses. Find the other grump. Later. I'm trying to figure out what else to do. Hmm. Hmm. And now I'm back. Um, I 
Floofy Fizzle Bean. This is the one that we saw yesterday in the stream. Now I don't know how to see her again. But So we go over to ta tasks man. So we have to go to the desert and find two pop ticks, which are popcorn. Now I'm going to be back, I'm just going to do something real quick.
I have to go. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed.